Hey folks, I hope you're well and uh, you're having a good week so far. Uh, so I come home today to uh, record a bit of uh, waffle for you and find this on the floor. Not really surprising considering it's been put together with sticky tape. So uh, yeah, not very really pleased about that to be fair. So I shall be on to the supplier of this to find out what uh, is going on. And uh, again, I wouldn't have thought that sticky tape would be uh, sufficient enough to hold the sign up anyway, but there we go. So I don't have a lot to talk to you about uh, today, unfortunately, so my waffle will be quick. Um, and I apologise for those that do like the waffles. And I bet all of you that, that don't like it are thinking, yes! But for those of you that are watching and listening, uh, and again, I really appreciate uh, you guys that are interested in me uh, talking to you guys on Wednesdays. Really it's just an update, it's, it's all it is really, an update, maybe a few shout outs um, and uh, the giveaways will always be done on Wednesdays as well because it kind of makes a little bit of sense. So I'm going to ask for a little bit of help from you pen turners out there that are watching today and um, I picked this little device up um, from, the, uh, from the internet um, and I'm just wondering, it's supposed to be like a trimmer so you put the blank uh, for pencils on here and then you offer it up again to the wheel uh, to your like, um, uh, well, sanding wheel uh, and it's supposed to trim off uh, the, the end but I'm sure I'm missing something because um, at the moment it's just going to kind of wobble around everywhere because it's got nothing to sort of situate itself into it's just going to, I mean, that's all right, great, because that's going to be level, but then putting it up against it, I'm sure you've got to really either hold it really tight, um, or there's supposed to be a piece that kind of locks into the plate. So uh, I'll show you quickly. So this is what you're supposed to do with it. You're supposed to put this here, and then you kind of push this up to the wheel, and then it's sort of like supposed to, you know, keep it straight. But if this is what, if this is moving around, then surely it's not going to be level. I mean, this is all great because this keeps it level, but this is all over the place. So I'm just wondering whether or not I'm missing a piece that you're, or you're supposed to maybe make another piece that maybe goes into here that keeps this sturdy. Or you're supposed to clamp this down or something. I I don't know, really. But at the moment, I've no idea how that's supposed to be any benefit to me whatsoever. Um, I've seen it being used, but I haven't really seen... I didn't really pay any attention to the bottom bit, so I don't really know what to uh, suggest there. So I don't know if someone could maybe give me some advice on that um, as to whether I need to make something that sits onto here, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do that because this is like aluminium or something. So, um, yeah, no idea. So any help on that would be really helpful uh, because I, I've no idea really. I mean you can do it the other way um, I think you, could, you know to trim the barrel ends you can use the barrel trimmer um, which I've got anyway but I just bought this and I thought well that'll be you know useful as well but at the moment it's not useful so just wondered if anyone could help me with that one. One thing I have got to show you today <coughs> is this baby. Now this is pretty awesome. I had this delivered to me the other day from uh, Robert Sorby. Now, this is a fantastic bit of kit. Um, it's, you put obviously your bowl blank inside here. The idea around this, uh, this, this bit of kit, and it's called the Longworth Style Chuck. They sell these in different sizes. Uh, so you've got the 10 inch one, 12 inch, 14, 16, this one's the 12 inch one. So this is not even the daddy. But I won't fit anything bigger than this on, on, on my lathe. But it's so cool because what you do with this, as I'll show you. So you've already got the chuck on the lathe, like this one, which is in our giveaway. And all you do, open the chuck up. And this, see that bit there? That just goes in there. And that's it. You open that up and then you, this is on there. Job done. So no taking chucks off, which obviously is a little bit time consuming, not hugely, but a little bit, you know, and uh, it's all about trying to make things quicker, isn't it, and faster for us in the shop. That's one benefit. That's not it. That's one benefit. So that goes on there, which I think is pretty awesome. On top of that, 
This little bad boy just opens up like this. Ready? Look at that, look at that. That is just so cool. And that is it, it is so cool. I'm just gonna demonstrate one quickly for you on the lathe. Chuck's on the lathe. Open this up. We just slot this into the chuck. Needs to be opened up a bit more. Right, in, tighten the chuck back up. Bang, that is it. It's on there, beautiful. Make sure it's obviously tight. Now, all we've got to do is this just expands just like this, hold the chuck, and then this just opens up like this. Look at that. Let me show you a different angle, okay? Right, so let's get a bowl. Let's just take this little bowl for instance, pencil one. Had to be, didn't it? So let's just say I wanna finish this off. Then, you know, rather than mess around, all I do is put this on there and then this just, bring this down to the size we want, which is there. Um, and that's it. And then you just tighten these up at the back. That's such an awesome bit of kit. Really easy to use. When you're finished with it, you just unscrew it, just like you would do anything else. And it just pops off. Easy. So that is definitely an awesome bit of kit. So thanks very much to Robert Sorby uh, for sending this down to me. It is a really lovely bit of kit and I definitely will be using this quite a bit. If you want to grab one of these, I'll leave a link below in the description of here um, and you can just um, go straight to their site. I think, I'm not sure if Robert Sorby actually sell them direct or whether they have a partner that sells them, but I definitely would recommend one of these. This is a really awesome bit of kit. So uh, yeah, go check it out. So just a little bit of a waffle, nothing too major. And uh, so thanks very much for all my new subscribers that have come over recently. I really do appreciate uh, all of your support. Um, thanks and hello to all my old ones and uh, I shall see you all on Friday for a project video which I've already recorded. Uh, I've got two of them like I said, I'm not too sure which one to put up yet um, but um, yeah, they're a little bit weird let's say. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be weird coming from me right? <laughs> Cheers guys, see you soon.